Right, there we go. Hello, my amigos. Welcome to Daily Vlogs, day four, I believe. Um, yeah, so we're going to have some amazing views in Brashov today. It's about half 11 in the morning. I had a late night last night, so yeah. Had a bit of, had to have a bit of a lie in. But yeah, we're going to do a bit of a hike again, but this time we should have the best views in Brashov, like I said. But yeah, so I need to get some sun cream on, because it's about 30 degrees, and I need some water for the hike. Let's go. First step, I need to find a shop. Right, so here we are, step one complete. I have got my water, it's absolutely boiling, but it's beautiful, it's about 30 degrees. But now, step two, time to climb that bloody thing. So I think it could be about 500, 600 meters climb maybe, so maybe about an hour. Race up, I've got a towel because I'm going to be sweating I imagine. But yeah, if you haven't already seen the Brashov Tan Square, absolutely beautiful, but anyway, let's get it on, let's get started. Right, by the way as well, I've got absolutely no idea on a route up, so I'm just going to wing it. Generally, if you want to get to the top, just find a path that goes up. If you want to get down, find a path that goes down. That's how I work. Just about to start the climb up, but it looks like there might be some sort of festival or something on anyway. Might have to check this out later. Anyway, so I found the cable car place. It is just here. 25 lay there and back, I think, for an adult. So that's not too bad. That's about five pound up and down. So yeah. But anyway, I'm just following a random path. I've got no idea where I'm going. I've asked a few people um, and nobody knows the way up. So I'm just gonna head up, take my own advice. sure you can probably tell that this is hard work so the paths like just sort of wind and zigzag up but there are little sections like this which are a lot steeper which means you can get up a lot quicker So just before I reach the top, just wanted to say like it's amazing how many people speak English. Loads of people at least speak, you know, like a, a decent amount, which is really impressive because I feel like I didn't expect that at all. Anyway, back up the steep bit. Some blokes had about 10 minutes left, so made it in good time. My god, I don't think I've ever been so sweaty. But I think it's time to check out these views because we've earned them. And so have you, because you came along with me. Anyway, cue the views.
Right, so the crowds have just stopped to clear off a little bit. It is like uh, probably half 12, one o'clock or something. So prime time's probably like the busiest, busiest time, but the crowds have just cleared off a little bit. There's the signpost for the top. Uh, and here are the beautiful views. Give me two seconds and I'll show you them. Best views in Brashov in three, two, one. Here we are. Take a look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Right, just while I'm up here on the viewing platform, obviously down there we've got Brashov. You can hear some thunder rumbling in the distance. I think it's due here in a couple of hours or so, so I better, better get down pretty quick. Um, but over there, heading west behind those hills, uh, there are the Carpathian Mountains, I believe they're called, and it is home to the most brown bears in Europe, which is insane. They've got something like 60% of all bears in Europe are over that way in the forests. Um, and in the mountains, so that's pretty sick. But anyway, I should probably head down pretty soon before I get caught in that thunder and lightning and rain. We don't want that. Hi, uh, how much? There you go. Thank you. So we've got some blackberries and raspberries in a cute little basket 10 lay about two pound tell you what it's a welcome sight because i've had nothing to eat all day it's about three o'clock so yeah anyway i'm gonna try and head back down on the cable car uh, yeah so i'll see you back down there anyway i don't know if you can see it uh i'll try and show you there's a queue of like 100 people for the cable car down so yeah fuck that I'm just gonna have to walk down if i faint i faint So I've just pretty much reached back down at the bottom, but got like this festival thing going on, got some music playing, plenty of people just chilling out, but I think I might try and find some food over here. I am obviously starving. Yeah, you can see like down that way, there's like just loads and loads and loads of food places, places like selling things like churros and crepes, and, uh, ice cream, things like that. So it's pretty cool. And it also carries on further this way. So I'm gonna have trouble trying to find something to eat, I think it's too much choice. And I'm also a fussy here, so it doesn't help. Right now, I'm quite excited to try this because while I'm absolutely starving, but it also looks pretty tasty. So I've got like loads of chicken and beef, I think. Pork, you put loads in, like lettuce and stuff, just in a wrap. But uh, yeah, it's wrapped in paper, so I don't understand how I'm meant to eat it. Right, I've got a taste test. Mmm. My body needs this right now. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this. I'll see you back at the apartment in like two minutes. Oh, all right, there we are. I'm absolutely shattered of being out for about five hours. Uh, lots of walking, but the views were absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful place. I'm so hot and sweaty, so I'm gonna have a shower. I tried to have a shower last night and the shower only was cold. So it might be a cold shower, very cold shower, I mean, which isn't that pleasant. But yeah, apart from that, I don't know if I'll be doing much the rest of the day. Uh, so yeah, I suppose I'll let you know what's going on in a second. Alright, so good evening. It is about half nine. Uh, I've just sort of chilled out for four hours or so, but I have had enough of screens. I've been editing my AI video, which probably already came out. That should be really good, so make sure you've watched that. If you haven't, I'll link that like at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go for a little wonder, I think. Late night wonder, I can hear some thunder. So that's quite exciting, but I'm going to maybe go and get a bite to eat, but I'm going to stop filming anyway, because I've, you know, I've done a bit too much, probably burnt myself out a little bit, and uh, I've got too much to edit. So yeah, I'm going to go for food and leave it there, but this is the end of day four. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably end up with some other adventure. Tomorrow, I've got nothing planned yet, so it's all a mystery to me as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll link that up there when it's out. So go and watch that next, and uh, keep watching these daily vlogs, and yeah. I'll bring you along on my adventures. But anyway, thank you for watching as always. See you later. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.